Please be seated. Church. At the heart of all that we do in the 19th 
79 Book of Common Prayer is a call to live deeply into our faith. The sacraments themselves call us into faithful living. To live our lives as a commitment to God, our Father, in a way that promotes love, justice, mercy, and faith. This focus on a call to saintly living runs throughout the Book of Common Prayer in the marriage service, which I got to participate in a couple of times this fall. We build and point to a community of hope in a world where such hope is rarely justified. Our commitment to starting and growing families says that we believe that the travail, the fear, the pain of this world is bounded by a greater truth, and we commit to live into that truth. Christian marriage is about taking time out of our otherwise busy lives to say, yes, God is part of our relationship, of our family. And from here on out, we are given the gift as married people to fulfill our baptismal vows together rather than to pursue them separately. We will always reach out in love and concern to others. And with God's help, we will bring children into this world and nurture them to know and to love and to serve God. Well, despite all of this wonderful focus on faithful living in the Book of Common Prayer, I have found in all corners of God's one holy and Catholic and apostolic church, people who are just skating across the surface of their religious practices. But if there were ever a time to step back and examine on what we do as people of faith and why, it would be on All Saints Day, or in this octave of All Saints, the Sunday after All Saints Day. For God in Christ is calling us simultaneously to a far simpler and a far more challenging lifestyle. Jesus issues this call to faithful living. And in hearing it, we might hear a vision of a time when all of us as ministers of the church will relate to one another as fellow saints. We will no longer be judged based on our external status in the church, whether we are bishops or lay people, deacons or priests, but only by our baptismal identity. We will become a kingdom of rabbis, as it were. Or as they say in the baptismal service itself, we will be a community sharing in Christ's eternal priesthood. There will be no ordering based on titles or degrees or any manner of professionalisms in how we live together in the church. We order ourselves as the interconnected body of Christ based on gifts that we have received in our baptism, and we are called to deepen each and every day of our lives. On that day, when we realize such an amazing vision, it will be evident that none of us are any longer just skating across the surface, surface of our religious observance, but that we are people who faithfully live out, not just in what we say, but in all that we do, our promises to follow, to obey Jesus as Lord and Savior of our lives.